Well, I want to thank all my Benesse fans right here in South Florida. Um, you make the show amazing every night, and we had two great shows thanks to you. From the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. Hi. How are you? So fantastic. We love it. And this is our 66th anniversary. Oh so we want to take a picture with you. Congratulations. Thank it's you. amazing. What is it going to cost me to take you home tonight? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Right. <laughs> right here, somewhere in here, two What's your margarita. Name, yeah. Good. Now this is a theater, look at that. This is it, the Broward Center. Every seat, full. <laughs> Great theater. Uh, the walk around? <laughs> I think it's a uh, before show ritual that I do in every theater, you just, um, doing a little bit of practicing, stretching out my fingers and walking around the theater, kind of exercising the demons, if you will. Just getting the feel, the lay of the land. All dancers to the stage. Sound check or rehearsal, as you can see, is a lot of fun sometimes, especially after we've been out on the road for a while. Um, it's a cast of characters. We need a, a broom. We need this guy to sweep up. Can, are you on headset? And, you know, we all get together on stage, go through the songs briefly, maybe tweak a couple members, but uh, it's just so the performers can really get used to the stage, do some blocking, different blocking. I grew up on a farm in the Midwest, in the middle of America, mm -hmm. in Nebraska. Yeah. And I knew I didn't fit there. Mm -hmm. So um, it's one of those things when you're born in cornfields, you always dream of exotic places and traveling the world. And that was my dream. And music has been my passport. I have a really good ear. So, you know, I would get CDs and back then albums and just you know, listen to everybody I could. My heroes were Jimi Hendrix, you know, of course, Jimmy Page, all the great guitar gods of that era. And so I started playing rock and roll. Yeah, and I always writing original music. It was my form of expression. You know, it was a way that I could vent my feelings and what I was going through. From my upbringing is, you know, Everybody works hard there because you're in the heartland. Mm -hmm. You know, um, farmers, they work from the time they get up to the time they go to bed. So I just applied that to my music. Mm -hmm. And I moved to LA about 15 years ago. We started on the streets of Southern California. Yeah. And then I heard one Sunday morning on the way to the grocery store, uh, I was clicking the dials and I heard Spanish guitar. And it just struck me. It was so beautiful, so real, so simple. Just nylon string guitar, uh, beautiful melody, and I thought this is the most beautiful sound I've ever heard. And so it was really an epiphany in my life. And from that day on, I put all my electric guitars in the closet. These shows started as a celebration for our fans. Mm -hmm. And we would say, 
come to the show, we celebrate music, we celebrate love, and we celebrate life. Well, the, sh the way the show really has evolved is I'll go to a country and say Spain or Cuba or Brazil and I'll stay there for a while, immerse myself in their culture, get into the, you know, whatever different instruments they have there and I'll bring those back and incorporate those in the show. It's, it's a fusion of world music, Spanish guitar with dance and theater. And what I'm really proud of is we have some of the most amazing dancers in this company. They danced with everybody from uh, Ricky Martin, Jennifer Lopez, Madonna, and they all come off their tours pink. Um, they all come off their tours to come back and dance in the show because they have so much fun. So my collaboration with Juan as a co-director and as a choreographer was to, to bring his vision through. This show is a mixture of like uh, rock and roll uh, and a fusion of Latin, flamenco, African Cuban dance, um, rumba, uh, a little bit of samba, and everything else is a fusion. The musicians have tour all over the world. I always like to say life. I've um, not had the, the studying career of my colleagues, but uh, took it up in junior high school. And this is my second tour with Vanessa. And it's it's really a, for me. It's a therapy playing music, and I. If, if I make no money from it, I'd still be on the street doing it, just just to have fun. We'd like to thank the Broward Center for all their help. They have been great. Thank you, South Florida. God bless. We'll see you next year. Keep the faith. Mm -hmm.